Michaela, thank you. Let's head south now to St. Johns County. Our Jessica Clark is in St. Augustine tonight. Jess, what are you seeing out there? Well, it is uh, certainly windy and the rain is really starting to come down. I'm right on the bay front here where I'm standing on the sidewalk and it is already underwater. If you go uh, carefully across the street, you can see the bay front and the water in the bay very, very choppy and even overtopping uh, some of the seawall here. That has water now on half of the road. So there's a two lane road here on Avenida Menendez and half of each side is inundated with water right now. You know what, in the middle of all this, there was a wedding taking place, I kid you not. Uh, we, we found there was a wedding taking place actually in the hotel where we're staying. Uh, the, the man and woman said they had been planning this for two years. Found out yesterday their venue in St. Augustine had to cancel on them. Uh, but this other hotel, uh, the Hilton on the Bayfront, uh, said, we'll, we'll let you have a wedding here. Let's look at this. Everyone's out of state. Everyone's grounded. Nobody can fly out. So, you know, we're here. I hear that it's lucky to have rain on a wedding day. <laughs> That's what they say, but I mean, we have, you know, we got everything we ever wanted, so I got no complaints. Oh, so they, they are certainly very, very happy, <laughs> but I tell you what, they've got some good friends, right? They come from all over the country, even during a hurricane. But, you know, this is what we're watching. We are closing in on high tide here in St. Augustine. This has been expected. The city manager uh, urging people to uh, take notice of that evacuation order in place uh, that is for the entire city limits of St. Augustine and also the coastal areas. He believes that this is going to get worse than expected uh, about what Irma or Matthew was. We're live in St. Augustine on the Bayfront. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, back to you.